We're here today because the Saratoga Sister City is celebrating its 30th anniversary with its sister city in Japan, which is Muko. And for 30 years, we have been exchanging students and cultural exchange visits. And in October, we will be going to Japan with a group of about 40 Saratoga residents to celebrate the 30th anniversary. And on this table, we have displayed things that we have gathered through the years that are Japanese. Everything from puzzle boxes to the Zori and the Geta that they use, uh, the little Daruma figures, books, everything. You say we. We mean the Sister City Group. Hakone Gardens was the beginning of all of this. It's a lovely preserved traditional Japanese garden. A Japanese gentleman came over 30 years ago, fell in love with it, saw it, and decided that we should form a sister city relationship. 20 years ago, my uh, friend said, I need an interpreter. So come and interpret for us. I'm bilingual. My father was Japanese. My mother was an American missionary and went to Japan. And that's where I was born. So that's how I got to know the sister city because my friend needed an interpreter. I brought it in Muko. I've gone to Muko several years. This is celebrating 30 years. And we're going to Japan this fall for a celebration in Muko, our sister city. I see. Um, well, so you're getting all hepped all up, up <laughs> and, for this. And this is an open house to let people in Saratoga know about Sister City. Right. And That's just briefly, uh, Sister City's purpose is to form a tie between the two cultures? Yes, and to promote friendship. And we have developed friendships with some of these people for 30 years. And so we've met city council people from over there, and and they they come over here, and we go over there. I'm Manny Capello, and I'm a city council member. One of the things that's a, a real wealth for Saratoga is the fact that we have so many different events that are going on. It brings the communities together. People from all different types of aspects of our community come together in a real nice, wonderful way. And so this is uh, just another example of that. And so. You were lucky to have these types of things going. So tell us, uh, how's your campaign coming along? And uh, oh, yeah. Thanks. My uh, my campaign for Assembly District 28 is actually coming along very very well. I was at a rally this morning over in Campbell, and uh, there were about 50 people there, and there are some really hot issues in this campaign. Uh, ethics and values are one of them, and then uh, discrimination is another one. So that's been cool. But uh, being here with the sister city, this is what I really like. This yeah. is what I enjoy. Mary Lynn Bernal. Yes. And you're running for city council. I am running for city council. And this will be your first run, so to speak? Absolutely. Definitely. First time tipping my toes Sister in the water. Sister City is such a super organization. Why don't you just tell our viewers just a little bit about the organization? It's been around for 30 years. Promoted tremendous uh, dynamic interrelationships with Japan and Saratoga. Uh, in the past has allowed our students, our area people, to go and study in Japan which I th and have their students come here, which I think is tremendous for all our youth. Since this is the um, 30th anniversary of the Sister City, I think I'll focus on the Sister City. And I think this is, this is a very warm and intimate way to celebrate a 30th um, anniversary and a 30th uh, relationship, which is very, very unusual. Um, to me, I, I think Saratoga has the mo had top quality sister city relationship in the Bay Area. I mean, look at what we have now. My name is Marilyn Buckler, and I've collected Japanese fabric, mainly in Kyoto. And mainly I, in Kyoto. Right. And Hawaii. The island of Kauai has wonderful fabric. So over the years I've just 
kept making dolls, mainly dolls. And you say making dolls, and so those dolls on the table are, 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 are artistic expressions of your love of the Japanese right. girl. Right. Yeah. The, and then I made Mr. Rodent, who is a rat. What is it again? Mr. Rodent. Mr. Rodent. Okay. Right. And he's all from fabric, too, that I've collected. And purses and pin cushions. The kimono that's hanging there is called uchi kake. It's a bridal gown. They usually wear a white gown underneath that, and then they drape that over the bride. And it was given to the Saratoga Sister City by the Muko Sister City in 1989. We're celebrating the 30th year of being a sister city to Muko Japan, which is really exciting. It's the first one we've ever had event like this. And I'm dressed like this because I'm a taiko player. Oh, that's right. You yeah. are a taiko player. Yeah, and we're going to perform in a few more minutes at 3 o'clock for the second half of the program. So, And it's really exciting, too, that despite the rain, all these people came. It is, it is, well, you, there's a pull and a feel and so forth about the Japanese culture in the Saratoga area that is, is lovely. Isn't it, though? Yeah. And as you can see, now they're dancing, so this is a great, great exhibit. Right. Well, I'm so glad. And are you, you are going to be taking the trip, too? I am not going to Japan. Okay. But I am going to, of all places, Pasadena, because our sister city offers trips to places other than to Japan okay. annually.